Hi guys, it's Rob Rang here. Hope you're doing very well. Don't forget to subscribe to um, to guarantee the uh, attainment of future glories. So, um, this is basically going to be my third video on creating your life with a green pen and lists and having a bit of a party with it and how that can improve your efficiency and happiness and health and strength and peace and everything and satisfaction and fulfillment and all that. Which sounds like an, an insane claim that someone says just before they're about to ask for money, but I'm not going to ask for any money and um, it's not as insane as you think. So, in the other... <laughs> although you could... well, I didn't go insane, but I, I slightly overdid it in terms of the military uh, sticking to the times of things. And then I found myself a little bit burned out after about a week of, of this method of writing out time slots of things to do in the day and how that actually balances you and gives you a lot more, more energy and how you're unknowingly plowing yourself into one activity and neglecting a lot of others. Stuff like that. Anyway, so I was... It got to the point where I was getting... I, I, was, I felt rushed and stressed, which was the total opposite of what I was aiming for. It, think of the one or two emotions you're aiming for. Uh, you know, peace and, and satisfaction were, were my opinion. And um, then so I decided, okay, next day, I'm going to do the thing. And it'll take as long as it takes, then I relax. Again, I'm lucky to have some, some time off. This is assuming you've got time off, and no, everyone's got a different context. So I, I, I did the activity and then wrote down what time. Um, and that was revealing, because yeah, it helps you understand time, it helps you master time. I, my, my perception of, my, of the proportion of time was way off, way, way off until about uh, two weeks ago, honestly. Like I'm, I basically live in sort of 20 minute chunks now, where before unknowingly I was working way, way too hard, whether at YouTube or you know, music or whatever, and um, unknowingly destroying myself in, <laughs> in a lot of other ways and, and neglecting other things, you know. Whilst all the signs telling, telling myself I wasn't working hard enough. So I would recommend writing down maybe, depends what sort of day you want to have. If you want to have a chill out day, write down five things that would make you feel really chilled out and satisfied. But healthy things, you know, not 10 hours of Netflix, like uh, 20 minutes yoga, 20 minutes walk in the park, uh, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever album, your favorite album, however you treat yourself, like a little cookie or whatever. Uh, got very little treats, incense, dancing around to like diamonds in the soles of his shoes uh, by Paul Simon, if you're trying to everyone. So yeah, that was, that was very good. And then a few days after that, I, I sort of got into the mindset of, okay, I'm not even going to think of the time anymore. I'm just going to, well, this watch, to, this watch doesn't, isn't actually moving, so, yeah. <laughs> now who looks silly? Um, I thought I'm just going to feel when I should change activity. Again, this is assuming you've got a day to yourself with no, no distractions. Well, you can work it around days with people that obviously include them in it. Um, and that was relaxing and restored me a bit after the burnout. I realized I didn't have to be a, a Navy SEAL about the whole thing. I, um, and then the whole point is creating your own life. It was creating your own, um, playing along with the themes of your own suggested party, as I call it. Because like, you know, Jim's to-do list or Jess's to-do list or Jess's hard work, Jess must have discipline, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't make it sound enjoyable, makes it sound very unenjoyable. But language is everything, and your linguistic programming teaches us that, and people do it all the time. I was looking up a guitar tuning the other day, and the guy was like, it was open A. Um, and it's like, well, on the original D is open A, but I'm, not, I'm nowhere near good enough to try that, so I'm just going to do bar chords. And yeah, since learning about new linguistic programming, I've seen everyone doing it. Really, really, the total opposite way, but everyone putting themselves down. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't. No, you should be going Muhammad Ali style, or Conor McGregor style, or... Um, Floyd Mayweather style, or Simon Cowell style, or uh, I don't know. Stephen Fry pulls off humility quite well, but you've got to, you've got to rediscover your self belief, guys. Especially in a time like this, when everyone's trying to scare the shit out of you, you've got to rediscover your self belief and create your life and, and what you want. And you'd be surprised at how much more efficient and exponential all these benefits become. Um, I might go back to writing things down by the time, but. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. So I've basically, in conclusion, 
since applying this uh, essentially lists, or I call it playing along with the themes of my own suggested party, not political party, I hope. Uh, so far, I feel very stabilised and much more positive, and that's spread to the people around me who I've spoke to, and much happier. And all I have to do is stick to a list I've written, you know. Um, and whatever situation you're in, you can you can work in a bit of time that you create for yourself to make yourself the person you want to be, or feel the things you want to feel, or retain the values you want to retain. You know, um, at ease, do it with ease and relaxation, like all masters do, and realize that you can always improve. You're always improving. You cannot master uh, finance or uh, whale hunting or whale preservation or YouTube videos or writing essays or approaching girls or playing the guitar. Like you, you cannot master these things. We're, we're constantly. Uh, a work in um, progress, constantly in a state of becoming. And on that note, I will end. Some links below. See you later, guys. Bye bye.